today I would be discussing a volt meter one of the meters I have on my bench top power supply that's the homemade the meter this is the little package it's a two wire it's a two wire meter ranging from seven volts to a hundred and fifty volts which mean it will come on at seven volts and it would be able to withstand 150 volts of voltage in it it has this here which i would suggest if you're using this for let's say from 7 to 12 volts that is okay but if you're using it for anything higher i would suggest that you put a heat sink behind here you put a heat sink here you could either use if you buy a pack of heat sinks like that you could either use this thermal glue to stick it on or a thermal piece to stick it on the meter is a very simple only two wires which means it doesn't have a sense it would only measure volts and not amps you would connect it here and i have a nine volt battery as you know this the red is plus and the black is minus let me I have this one on my power supply just for 19 volts output Although it's just nine volts, but it, it's better to be safe than sorry. This is it. This is from the battery now if i hook this up here and hook this one 
Okay. Put on my power supply. to take this color as I was saying this is it and you see it starts from seven volts it's actually it comes on at, at six volts I would say six but they see the working voltage is uh, seven so the display is uh, very good here and you Turn. Now it's still cool, although I put it in the homemade bench supply and I put the heat sink behind it because once it's in that enclosure, you won't know when that is getting hot now there are some manufacturers that have this selling and they have the heat sink behind them they are different kinds and different types just different manufacturers have them i have a some different which I, I did or I made a video with these little ones this is the two wire just like this this is another two wire if you notice the same meter different manufacturers different designs this has an adjustable knob this is the free wire one it measures the two wires is for the power this is for the voltage so it has a separate wire for the voltage i also have this one which i would be doing a separate video on this is the volt and amp This is the volt and amp meter. It measures both a voltage and amperage. This one has five wires. And you see it has two ports one for the voltage and one for the amperage this one mark v so that's the volts that's the amps you turn that to adjust it this one doesn't have any calibration 
port on it. So which means once you hook it up, it should be okay. Which I've tested it and it seems to be okay. So this is it. I'll put everything I show here in the description link. If you find this video as informative and helpful, please give me a like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Until the next one, I will be discussing this and showing how to hook it up. And also, I've received this. That's for the homemade power supply. That's what I was waiting for. So I'll be discussing it and showing what I'll do to hook it up. This is it for now. Until the next one. Goodbye.